Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a Tinker Crate. And I'm excited to get into this box and see what this month has in store for us. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum and organizational ideas, and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button. And let's get into this box. So this month it says it's a 3D viewer built a stereoscopic, stereoscopic. <laughs> These crates, man, are just really making me struggle with my vocabulary. So uh, build a stereoscopic viewer to explore 3D images. So that sounds really cool. <laughs> if you know how to say that word and I said it incorrectly, I'm very sorry. <laughs> so when we open it up, it's gonna have our blueprints on top, which are always fun and it kind of gives us an idea of what it's gonna look like when it's all done. <laughs> Here it is on the back. It looks like an airplane, sort of. <laughs> looks pretty cool. So I love, again, I've always mentioned this, how this is in blueprints. I think it's fun since this box focuses a little bit more like on engineering type things, more STEM stuff that way. So it's just fun that they incorporate blueprints into that. And then we have our little booklet that's gonna go into a little bit more about 3D. So it says design it 3D. It'll have some extra activities, some history, and some just other fun things that my kids enjoy looking through and getting some other ideas. So then we have this. So maybe these are a whole bunch of pictures we'll put into our 3D finder. Is that a viewer, not finder, <laughs> viewer. So there's a dog right there. And then we have some foam pieces, it looks like, a whole bunch of different ones. And then we have some other pictures, like another stack of pictures. <laughs> and if you see this red on my fingers, I'm not bleeding. We were doing the kiwi crate this morning and it has dye in it and so now my fingers are dyed. <laughs> so that's, that's what happens. And then this looks like our little mirror and some other lenses that are gonna help us out with our viewer. And then we have, <laughs> they cut it in half. They cut the toilet paper tube in half, so pretty sturdy. You know, like toilet paper tube thing. So this kind of looks like dryer sheets. It's kind of hard to tell, but it has that very fine looking thin with a little bit of fibers running through it, like a dryer sheet or maybe like a interfacing if you sew. So I don't know what we're gonna use these for, but that's, that's kind of what it looks like. And then we have some wood pieces here to put everything together. And that's what's in this crate. So I'm excited to let my son get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Tinker Crate and he had a lot of fun doing it and he was able to put it together by himself and he just looked at the pictures and not the actual, he didn't actually read the instructions and it worked for him this time. We're trying to teach him to read instructions, but he's like, I can just look at the pictures and it works. So anyway, here is our little creation right here. It's our 3D viewer and my husband said it looks like Wally, which is totally true and you can't unsee it. Once you look at it as Wally, it's totally Wally. So it's kind of hard to show you how it works, but there is a little bit of a picture here that might help. So you put the different images on the sides right here. So it comes with a bunch of these different cards. It has one for the left side and one that's for the right side. And they're just slightly different. It's supposed to be like your eyes looking at an image if you covered your eye up and took a picture of that image. It would look a little bit different than if you took it with your other eye. So then it brings them together and creates this 3D image that if you look through here, you're able to see. So it kind of shows that right here. It has the two images and then brings them together 
to make this one image. So this idea is very cool. It's something I am not very familiar with. <laughs> I was reading this booklet before, like, do I even know what this is about or talking about? So there's a lot of good information in here to become more familiar with it. So that was really good. I'd recommend reading this, but it also has a lot of different activities. So it talks about how you can even do this activity without this. You just have to cross your eyes, which I hate crossing my eyes. I feel like it hurts so bad, but you can take the images and look at them. So I guess you'd have them lined up with the eye that they're supposed to be at. And then you cross your eyes and you could see the 3D image. So that would be a fun thing to do. And then it also has something with photography you could do where you take a picture and then you just slightly alter it. So then you end up with two photos and you could print them out, put them in here and see what it looks like if you get that 3D image. My son was trying to put his Pokemon cards in here. It doesn't work quite right because they're not the same Pokemon cards. You know, they look exactly the same. So it needs to be just slightly different. The images are just different enough that it creates this 3D image. So that's what this activity is allowing you to do is to create a different one. And then we also got to make this. So there, it comes with these things, these hard toilet paper tubes I was talking about. So it has little mirrors that you can put on inside, on them, inside, whatever we're talking about. So you put them on there and then it gives you a whole bunch of different images right here. So they look like this and you're going to stick your little mirror on it and then it's going to reflect the image in here and you're gonna be able to see it like it's standing up. So something it said is if you cut them out, so we cut this one out, the image is a little bit easier to see and it just, it looks a little bit better. And then also I thought it was really cool cause it gives you to dot, it gives you dot to dots. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say there. And my son did one of the dot to dots but I haven't had him keep this one. And so you do the dot to dot with a pencil, it recommends, and you trace over it with black so that you can see it better. And then you're gonna put your 3D viewer here and you're gonna be able to see what the words are. So that is a really fun activity that he enjoyed. And then one other one that we haven't tried, oh, so here's the one he did do. It's a dinosaur. And then one other one that we haven't tried yet is this one. And I love how it says you can visit online at tinkercrate.com slash 3D. And you can print more of these and it might even have some different grids that you can do for this. So let me show you a picture in this book because I think this one sounds really cool. So this is anamorphic drawing. So you draw a picture in the grid and it doesn't really look like a, much of a picture. But then once you use your little viewer right here, you can see it's an umbrella with raindrops above it, even though the image looks, it looks distorted. And so I thought that would be really fun to try. I want to do this, <laughs> so I want to try. I want to try it out and just to see what happens. So I thought there were so many good activities here to kind of help you understand a little bit more about 3D and how that all works. And then there's so much information in here. It's so good for people like me that don't really understand. 3D stuff and it's cool too when you can think about it in relation to your eyes and it talks about depth perception and how we get that 3D image right here. You know, our I see this, th the sides like this, but then we get the 3D image kind of right here and talks about some different animals and how some of them have wider 3D viewers and like a mouse is very, very narrow where they can see 3D and then they have all this depth perception out to the side. So just a lot of cool information. Again, there's tons of cards in here so that you can put them in this viewer if you want to switch them out. So there's, you know, just tons and tons of different images and they mark them left and right. And they're slightly, slightly different. Me and my husband had to look very, very closely at them to see the differences, but they're again, just showing the difference between looking at something from one eye compared to the other. So I really enjoyed this craft. I'm excited to keep using it and have my son use it some more just so we can learn a little bit more about 3D. So if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.